Ah. Ahí aviso. Hello. 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 How's it going, people? Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you doing today? Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> fine. Very, fine, very, fine. Thank you. And then we we'll continue with the, with the song, right? <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much. I appreciate on your punctuality to be here. How are you feeling for today's class? With energy? Not that much? So, so? So, so I am so, so. So, wow. so, so. Oh, my God. It's Thursday. We are about so, so, to go to the you. weekend. So, Thank so, you. Yeah. All right, so, so. all right. The great. weekend is closed. Time to relax. Great, to great house. Oh, como se diría, gran calor que está haciendo aquí. You say it is really hot. It is aquí está, really hot. Aquí está un día soleado. Ah, check out Rolando. Rolando is in camping. Camping day for hey, Rolando. Sí. Camping day. Estoy día de campo. Excellent. <laughs> nice. With the, fresh, with the fresh weather and everything. Perfect. <laughs> thank you so much thank you so much everyone welcome welcome i see that more people are connecting and that's really great thank you thank you so much at this moment we're going to be uh working with the attendance so please remember when you listen to your name please make a verbal confirmation that you are part of this video conference all right let me get started miss alejandra gabriela perez present teacher thank you uh, Ana Guadalupe Fuentes. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Azucena Enriquez de Lopez. Present. Thank you. Brian Joel Morrodas. Mr. Brian Joel Mon. Right, probably not at this moment. I continue. Carolina Abigail Vasquez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Cindy Tatiana Vasquez. Thank you. Sira Berfalia Aguilar. Present. Thank you, thank you. Claudia Elizabeth Martinez. Claudia Elizabeth Martinez. Right, I continue. Erika Vanessa Marroquín. Present. Thank you. Esmeralda Janet Méndez. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Let me see. Evelyn Abigail Ramos. Present. Thank you, thank you. Fátima del Carmen Amaya. Present. Thank you so much. Uh, Giselle Maria Hernández. Present. Thank you, thank you. Indra Nirvana Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Ana Ivania Guevara. Ana Ivania. All right. I continue. Josue Abraham Lopez. Josue Abraham Lopez. All right. I continue. Carla Guadalupe Pacheco. Present. Thank you. Carla Lisette Méndez Granadino. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Uh, Luis Daniel Rosa. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Madeline Beatriz Morán. Present. Thank you. María José Sandoval, I guess not present. Jose Hernan Maravilla. I'm not present, I guess. <laughs> Mariana Dolores Moreno. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Let's see. Marlon Napoleón Fuentes. Present. Thank you so much. Rina Estela Garcia. Present. Thank you so much. Sí, Rolando Guzmán. Present teacher. Thank you, thank you. Ruth Stephanie Melendez. Present. Thank you so much. 
Sandra Marisol Campos. Present. Thank you so much. Tito Alberto Hernández. Present, teacher. Thank you, thank you. And Xiomara Alejandra Marroquín. Present, teacher. Perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. I appreciate on your confirmation. Before we get started, I just need to make just an announcement, right? That is the, like the permanent announcement for everyone. Just remember that we need your collaboration on completing on the platform, right? I know that some of you already finished the platform and that's really nice, congratulations. Some others are about to finish, right? Really close to finish and that's perfect too. So I want to motivate you to continue working and if possible, try to complete on the platform over the weekend, right? So Monday, I have, I see the results and you have everything complete, right? Les voy a pedir su colaboración. Sé que la mayoría o muchos de este curso ya terminaron su plataforma, ya tienen un 100% en todo y eso es muy bueno y es de felicitarles por el compromiso también que le han, eh, y, el, y el esfuerzo que han dedicado, todo lo que han hecho por la plataforma, eso es muy bueno. Y pedirle su colaboración a los que ya van eh, por la unidad 4 y ya solo nos hace falta una, trabajarla lo más antes posible. Si es, si se pudiese, ¿verdad? si usted, espero, tenga su chancecito en el fin de, trabajar en el fin de, terminar en el fin de semana. Y así lunes que se hace la nueva actualización para ver cómo está el progreso, ya tener completa la plataforma y así ya nos quedamos solo con el tiempo de conexión, practicando y aprendiendo. Así ya no estamos con esa presión de terminar todo porque se nos puede acumular. Así que a hacerles el, el, el atento llamado a completarla lo más antes posible. Y ahí, si tiene preguntas, en la medida de lo posible, por lo menos de mi parte, trataré de responderle lo más pronto. Y si no, pues eh, créame que haré lo mejor posible por ayudarles. Pero igual agradecerle a los compañeros que muy amables, muy atentos han estado asistiendo a los demás compañeros. Y eso es bueno, demuestra trabajo en equipo. ¿verdad? Y eso es felicitarles porque todos están prontos a colaborar y no dejar a alguien perdido como uno dice hay que ver este que responde ¿va? no sino que ahí estamos colaborando entonces agradecerles porque yo veo ahí sus respuestas y veo que muy acertados están y prontos para ayudarles así que felicitarles y echémosle ganas siempre all right let's see for today I have some information and let me look at my presentation at this moment. For today, we have session number 12 for the beginner module. At this moment, we're going to be checking on some vocabulary. And on this vocabulary, we're going to be practicing how to tell the time, right? As you can see on this illustration, we can make a division of the clock and we can mention like a different form to express the time. The most common version probably is to say or to mention the hour and after that, the minutes. For example, at this moment, according to my, to my telephone, it's 9.10, talking about the time, right? It's 9.10, that is the time. And in this one, that is one, the, the most common, let's say, form to express on the time. But there exists other form, as you can see on the screen. It is possible to use the word past, right? To express on the minutes first, and then on the time. It's like a, an inversion on the information that you provide. For example, as I was telling you, at this moment is 9.10, or the other form to say it is, it is 10 past nine. 10 past nine. In that case, you are mentioning the minutes after the time, after the hour, right? You can say five past the time, 10 past, quarter past, 25 past, 25 past. In this one in half, you don't say 30, not 30, you say half past. After, when you go to minute 31, it's different. No past, no anymore. 
In this case, you say two. For example, 25, two, 22, quarter two, 10, two, five, two. That is how you express on some information about the time, right? Probably it's, for me, it's a little complicated, right? I prefer simple things, right? Esta forma, eh, que me imagino que ustedes ya lo habrán visto en su plataforma, ¿verdad? Porque es parte de los contenidos. La forma más común para reportar o lo más fácil, pues eso es lo que yo considero, porque la otra hora me enchivó la mí, créanme. Es más fácil decir la hora y los minutos, como yo les decía, ¿verdad? It's 9, 10, 9 y 10, tranquilo, no problem. But the other version, you mentioned the numbers. En la otra versión, para expresar la hora, mencionamos primero los minutos, eh, eh, para la palabra past, ¿cuántos minutos pasan de la hora? Serían como pasan 10 minutos de, la nueve, de las 9 de la noche. Y como que es locutor, ¿va? a veces 10 minutos después de las 3 de la tarde, algo así. Right? You listen to the information in that way. Right? Algo picky, ¿va? algo delicadito, la forma, pero está correcto, no hay problema. Yo por lo menos no lo utilizo. But in this one, in English is possible. Podemos utilizar esa misma forma, just on this one. En este caso, la palabra past es un poco más British. Así que si usted la escucha, dije, hey, teacher, pero yo en la plataforma vi after, no vi past. Le explico, este, ese es el caso. Past es como eh, lo más común en, en inglés británico. Pero si hablamos del americano, ¿verdad? que es el que tenemos nosotros más próximo y tal vez eh, estamos más en contacto, sería after. En este caso... Uh, 10, ahora ya cambió la hora, ya son 13. It's 13 after 9. ¿no? 13 after 9. When you report on the time. That is from 1 to 30. Eso nos funciona del minuto 1 al minuto 30. Del minuto 31 al 59, antes que se cumpla la hora, lo reportamos cuántos minutos faltan. Hay, hay como que hacer una cuenta matemática. Y es donde me enchivola. Yo por eso estoy dando inglés, but no matemáticas, right? English, no mathematics. Mathematics is not my friend. So in this one, you, make, you need to make a, a, a calculation on this one, right? Tiene que pensar usted cuántos minutos le faltan para que se cumpla la hora. Eso aplica del minuto 31, ¿verdad? Si faltara por lo menos 20 minutos, les, ah, faltan 20 para las dos. Ay, entonces es la 1.40, ¿verdad? Es como decirle de una forma o de otra, pero estamos dando la misma información. In this case, remember it, for minute 31, you mention like this. Mencionamos los minutos y para hacer énfasis que falta, como decir, faltan tantos minutos y decimos two, right? 20 to nine, right? 20 to nine, suponiendo que faltaran 20 minutos para las nueve. 20 to nine. Just to give you an example. Let's do, let's do a practical example. It's better. Hagamos un ejemplo práctico y así ponemos... Eh, nos ponemos ya a utilizar las expresiones. Take a look at this one. And I need your collaboration, people. Take a look at the clock. Right? Take a look at the clock. And tell me, what time is it? 10, 10, 2, 2. 10, 2, 10, 2. 10, 2. 10, 2. 10, 2. 10, 2. 10, Excellent. And you begin with the complicated <laughs> form. Thank you. Y comenzaron con la frase más difícil. Ya, ya me quieren confundir, va. Ah, thank you so much. Right? No problem. 10 to 2 is perfect, right? Faltan 10 minutos a las 2. It's 10 to 2. And what is the probability formal or the normal or easiest for me? What is the other version? It is 2. It is 2.50. It's 2. Two, 150. Oh, 150. 150. Yes, yes. Sorry. Hasta la forma más fácil me confunde. Yes, yes. Oh, my goodness. Right? Thank you. Exactly. It's 150. Let me see. Right? It's 150. Or the other version, as you mentioned, it's 10 to 2. Right? Faltan 10 minutos a las 2. It's 10 to 2. Thank you. Thank you. Take a look at the next one. Take a look at the next one. And we work on the, the time. First. Remember the hour. Remember to mention on the hour first. Vamos a trabajar en el ejercicio 
y vamos a utilizar primero reportando la hora y los minutos y después nos vamos con la, con la otra que cuánto hace falta o cuánto pasa. All right. Take a look at the next one. What time is it? It's possible. Seven after four. Seven after four. Seven after four. Four. The two possibilities. Four seven. Thank you so much. Check on this one. When we report only what the time, you mentioned it's uh, four oh. oh seven. It is possible, right? Four oh seven. Las cuatro y siete. En español nosotros no le agregamos el número cero. Son las cuatro cero siete. Pero en inglés es bastante común utilizar esta estructura, ¿verdad? El O hace referencia al número cero, porque no decimos 407, ¿verdad? 40, that is the most common, 407. En the other version, ya enfatizando los minutos, ¿cuántos minutos pasan de las cuatro? It's... It's seven. 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 Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Now, I will ask on some collaboration of people at this moment. Miss Cindy Tatiana Vasquez, the next watch or the next clock is for you, right? And remember, go for the easy part. La primera reportamos hora y minutos. No, no, solo esa frase necesito en este momento, right? Check on that one. Next one, Miss Cindy, tell me what time is it? Nine. Oh, 24? 24? It's 9.24. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's 9.24. Thank you so much. That's fine, right? That is reporting the hours and reporting on the minutes later. Thank you so much. And Miss Sira Aguilar, what is the other version in this one, Miss Sira? It's nice. It's nine. Uh, oh, 24. 20, 24. It's nine, 24. That is, the, that, that is the normal form. What is the other? Yeah. Esa es la forma It's normal, digamos, ¿verdad? Mencionando hora y minutos. Recuerden que en la otra mencionamos los minutos primero uh, y después esa sería la otra estructura, ¿verdad? All right, thank you. Let's give it a try, Miss Sira. 24 after nine. Excellent. Thank you so much. It's 24 after nine. You see, it's after more complicated. Ya ve que a mí hasta me confunde esa hora. Más fácil decir son las 9.24. Easy, right? Easy on that one. Thank you so much. That's fine. 9.24, 24 after nine. Take a look at the next one. And I need the collaboration of other person for the next clock. Miss, uh, Miss Indira, what time is it? The easy form, hour and minutes. It's 5.30. Thank you. It's 5.30. Thank you so much. Nice. Well done. It's 5.30. And at this moment, I need the collaboration of Miss Mariana. Miss Mariana, what is the other version for this one? Is half past five. Excellent, Miss. Congratulations. That's fine. It's half after five. Thank you so much. It's half after five. Thank you. Take a look at the next one. More collaboration on people. Mr. Daniel. Tell me, Daniel, what time is it? The easy form, the easy form, hour and minutes. 
It's seven twenty-five. Thank you. It's seven twenty-five. That's it. Thank you so much. And I need the collaboration of Azucena Enriquez. What is the other version to report on the time? It's uh, twenty-five after seven. All right. Thank you so much. It's 25 after seven. Thank you, thank you so much. Take a look at this one at this moment and I need the collaboration of Ana Ivania Guevara. Miss Ana Ivania, the hour and minutes, right? The, the, the easiest part. What time is it? It's uh, 3.46. Thank you, it's 3.46. Thank you so much. That's fine. It's 346. Perfect. And I need the collaboration on this one of Carla Guadalupe. Miss Carla Guadalupe, what is the other form to report this time? It's a uh, 46. Mm -hmm. uh, three? 346. All right. That is the, that is the form we already have. But what is the other one? ¿Cuál sería la otra versión? Mencionando cuántos minutos faltan hacia las cuatro. Uh, estaría mencionando. Ay, no, no lo copié. Lo siento. No problem, no problem, no problem. Let's work together. Trabajemos juntos, Miss Carla. Yo le ayudo, no se preocupe. Right? Let's do it in Spanish at this moment. ¿Cuántos minutos nos faltan para las cuatro? 46. 46 son cumplidos. ¿Cuántos nos faltan para llegar a las 4? Oh, 15. 14. 14. Right. Ahí tenemos el primer dato. Recordamos 14. que en esto mencionamos los minutos que nos hacen falta para que se cumpla la siguiente hora. ¿Ok? En ese caso nos faltan 14. Nos hacen falta 14 minutos. 14. 2. 4. Is 14 to four. Exactly. It's 14 to 4. You see? Ya ve por qué le digo que esta a mí me confunde. Por ahí estar pensando en los números. I don't like it, right? But that is the other form to express an idea. It's 14 to 4. ¿Vale? Lo que diríamos en español. Faltan 14 minutos a las 4. ¿Vale? Es otra forma de reportarlo. Right? To report on the time. Any question at this moment, people? Question, questions on this? Uh, no this question. No question, question, no question. No question, teacher. Yo Excellent. tengo una pregunta. Go ahead, tell me. Bye. En el caso de que eh, antes de la media podemos decir pasan tantos minutos de. Uh -huh. Después de la media podemos seguir diciendo así. Por ejemplo, en este caso, 3 y 46, podemos decir it's... Uh, 46 uh, after. 46 after, uh-huh. Uh -huh. In this case, oh. uh, the best one is to go for the other version. Así como les mostraba en la, en la primera imagen, eh, lo indicado sería mencionarlo cuánto falta, y ahí nos cambiamos a la versión que tenemos acá, del minuto 31. Si pudiéramos eh, decirlo tal vez de, de cuántos minutos pasan, Pero lo más común y lo más recomendado sería decir cuántos minutos faltan a partir del minuto 31. Ok, thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. My pleasure. All right. Now, let's check on this info for today. We're, we're also going to check on the present continuous with questions. Remember yesterday we were practicing. Is Jose wearing a cap? No, he isn't. Is Carla wearing a scarf? Yes, she is practicing questions in the present continuous. At this moment, take, take a look at this one. What do, when do we use the present continuous? It is used to talk about actions happening at the moment of speaking. For example, in this precise moment, you are listening to me, you are using the computer, you are using the cell phone, you are paying attention. I am talking actions in the moment, right? To report something that is happening. Not, not a routine, not something from the past, something in progress at this moment. 
take a look at this one. When we talk about the, the present continuous, we need to complete on this one. Similar from yesterday, the subject, the verb to be, the verb in ing. In this one, we can have a different verb, not only wearing. Yesterday, yesterday's practice was only wearing, 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 because we were talking about clothing items. But at this one, we report on actions. Take a look at this one. Take a look at the illustration. The person is doing something. Something is in progress. What is he doing? He's playing. He's playing. He's playing. He's playing. 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 Guitar. Thank you. Guitar. Guitar. Playing guitar. guitar. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. As you can see, he is playing the guitar. We are reporting about an action that is in progress. Taking a look at the picture, right? Si vemos por ahí, estamos reportando justo una acción que está en progreso, como vemos en la animación. He is playing the guitar. Ayer hacíamos expresiones con el presente continuo, pero el verbo lo teníamos, eh, no teníamos otro, sino que estábamos utilizando wearing. Si usted se recuerda, I am wearing, she is wearing, he is wearing. Present continuous to report on clothing. Ahí estamos reportando qué es lo que la persona estaba vistiendo en ese momento. All right? But in this one, the verb in blue, that is the action verb, can be different. Ahí nada más el verbo que representa la acción, como el verbo play, que es, es tocar un instrumento, ahí podemos cambiar diferentes. Así como yo les decía, ¿verdad? You are listening, usted está escuchando. You are paying attention, usted está prestando atención. I am talking, yo estoy hablando. You are using the computer, usted está utilizando la computadora. Y así reportamos acciones. The verb in the ing. Right? Similar to yesterday. But now we have more options about the verbs. Take a look at this. Also, we can create information questions. Take a look at the illustration of the man over there in the picture. And I have a question for you. Watch, watch TV. Yes, but he listen to my question at this moment. Is, no, he is he's not eating dinner. dinner? No, he isn't. He's no, not he isn't. dinner. No, he isn't. Is. No, he what isn't. Is. Right? No, Remember on questions. Mm -hmm. No, he isn't. No, questions he is. and answers. No, he isn't. Exactly. No he, no, he isn't. And I create the next question. What is he doing? He is watching TV. He is watching TV. He is watching TV. He is watching TV. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That's correct. As you can see in this one, we can have the first one, a yes, no question, to confirm information. Si vemos por ahí, la primera pregunta es pregunta de sí o no, ¿verdad? Es una, es una yes, no question. Respondemos adecuadamente en este caso, no, he isn't, right? Porque él no está comiendo la cena en este momento, right? No, he isn't. And the next one is an information question. La siguiente es una pregunta un tanto más abierta que nos va a permitir descubrir detalles. ¿Qué está haciendo él? Y como ustedes muy bien lo dijeron, he is watching TV. You report on the info. All right? Let's do more practice on this. Take a look at the next illustration. Tell me, is he driving a car? No, he isn't. 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 What is Sidan? Let's let's call the name. What is Sidan doing? He's playing soccer. He's playing soccer. Playing soccer. He's playing soccer. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you so much. You see, in the first one. I ask a question to confirm what the person is doing. ¿verdad? La primera pregunta la formulé no, pega, no apegada a la realidad. Y, y, él está, y él está manejando un carro. No, he isn't, right? He's, what is he doing? ¿Qué está haciendo él? He is playing soccer. Take a look at the next one. Is she? 
playing basketball? What is she doing? Thank you so much. She is driving a car. If you want to be more specific, you can say she is drifting. She is drifting in the car. ¿Ah? Si usted quiere ser más específico, decir que haciendo derrape, va. She is drifting, similar to the Fast and Furious, right? It could be possible, right? If you want to be very specific, right? But in general, she is driving a car. Thank you so much. Take a look at the next one. Is she doing homework? No, no, she isn't. No, she isn't. What is she doing? She is dancing. dancing. All right. She is dancing. Thank you. Use your imagination. What type of music is she dancing? She is dancing, dancing salsa? She's dancing cumbia. She's dancing cumbia. Bachata. 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 <laughs> Thank you. Electronic. Electronic. Put your hands up. Put your hands up, right? Thank you. Excellent. Thank you so much. It's possible. You see, and in that one, we give more detail, right? Como pudo notar en la segunda pregunta, como ya nos da la oportunidad de dar más detalles, what is she doing? ¿Qué está haciendo ella? Y ustedes reportaban, she is dancing. You can be more, more, you can give more detail. She is dancing salsa. She is dancing bachata. She is dancing uh, electronic music. And if you want to give more details, you can include a complement of place. She is dancing bachata in the disco, right? Action, what she's dancing in a place. It is possible, right? Hasta pudiéramos incluir información de lo que está haciendo que como ustedes decían bailando, qué música está bailando y todavía le puede agregar dónde, right? In the disco, in the house, in the kindergarten, right? It's possible, right? The options are many, 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 many options on this one. Now, is there any question about this information and about what we're talking about? Questions, questions. No question. All right, thank you so much. Now let's do a practice, right? Let me go back to this one. We are going to do a similar practice like this one. We are going to work in, in groups, right? In pairs. And we are going to be asking model questions like this one. You are going to ask information for a family member or for a friend of your classmate. The person is going to respond no to the first question. And after that, you include what is she doing or what is he doing? That is what we do at this moment. Vamos a seguir este mismo modelo de mini conversación para averiguar qué está haciendo cierta persona que es contacto de mi compañera, ¿verdad? Si yo quiero, me imagino, ¿verdad? What is your brother? ¿Qué está haciendo tu hermano? ¿Qué está haciendo tu hermana? ¿Qué está haciendo tu papá, tu mamá? What is your best friend doing? ¿Qué está haciendo su mejor amigo? Usted decida por quién le va a preguntar. Pero la primera tiene que ser una yes, no question. Así como la ve usted en pantalla. Imagínense una, una actividad. Voy a, voy a participar con Mr. Rolando en este momento. Mr. Rolando, I need your collaboration. Ok. All right, perfect. I ask you about someone. Le voy a preguntar por alguien y independientemente si la persona no está en el hogar o, o, o por cuestión de práctica, usted sígame la corriente, right? Thank you so much. Rolando, is, is your girlfriend, Rolando, is your girlfriend cleaning the house? No, she isn't. No, she isn't. What is she doing? Uh, she is... Watching TV? 
watching TV. All right. Thank you so much. Perfect. Perfect. I, I have other person to participate. Thank you so much, Orlando. I appreciate your collaboration. Miss Ruth Stephanie. Hello, Miss Ruth. Is, is your son watching <laughs> TV? Yes. Yes, he is. All right. Yes, he is. But for the practice, can you answer in the negative? No, he isn't. No, he isn't. All right. What is he doing? Uh, he's playing with my cellular. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Perfect, perfect. Playing play with the cell phone. Thank you so much. I do other practice. Check on this one. Remember on the type of questions we ask. Let me see. On this one, I need the collaboration of Giselle. Giselle, I need your collaboration, please. Miss Giselle, hello, hello. If not, I continue and I ask other person. Don't worry at this time. Let me see. Oh, sorry. Miss Fatima, hello, Miss Fatima. I need your collaboration, please. Hello. Thank you so much. I am going to ask you a question. And remember, answer in the negative form. Let's see, Fatima. Is your best friend watching a movie at this moment? No, she isn't. All right. What is she doing? Uh, she is uh, reading a book. Reading a book. All right. Thank you. Reading a book, thank you so much. You see people, this is how we do. That is what we're going to work. We are going to ask questions. The first one is a yes, no question. La primera va a ser una yes, no question. Y usted va a escoger a, a alguien, ¿verdad? Usted le va a preguntar por alguien a su compañero. Que si su hermano, que su papá, su hijo, su hija, su novio, su mejor amigo. Usted pregúntele por quien usted crea. Y agregamos una acción, ¿verdad? Para confirmar si la persona está haciendo eso. Que usted como que quisiera saber qué está haciendo esa persona. Me dice, hey, y, y tu amigo es, está viendo tele ahorita, ¿no? A todas vamos a responder en negativo, ¿verdad? Por cuestiones de práctica. No, he isn't. No, she isn't. Al escuchar esa respuesta negativa, y como nos interesa saber qué está haciendo la persona, insistimos y preguntamos, what is he doing? Or what is she, dependiendo si es él o ella, ¿verdad? What is she doing? Y ahí preguntamos qué está haciendo la persona. Y su compañero ahí ya le va a dar el reporte, ¿verdad? Finalmente nos va a compartir la información. He or she is watching TV, listening to music, dancing, is driving, is sleeping, and you report on different information. At this moment, is the activity clear? ¿Está clara la actividad lo que vamos a realizar? Es clear. Right. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your confirmation. At this moment, let me create on the breakup rooms so I can start working on this. Okay. Fine. At this moment, you receive the invitation and let's begin working with your classmate. Thank you so much, people.
Hello, hello, Mrs. Esmeralda. What happened? No sé, se me, me quedé sin señal y hasta ahorita puedo ingresar de nuevo. All right, no problem. Vamos a hacer algo. Le voy a, le voy a mover de, porque yo la tengo asignada en un salón. La voy a mover solo para reiniciarla y después la voy a regresar a la sala para que trabaje con una compañera. Ok. Ok, gracias. Okay. Teacher, eh, me sacó, no sé cómo apareció otra vez acá. Pero llegó por acá, ya le veo por acá, ya le, ya le ayudo. Ay, ah, mi hermana también está sola en su sala. All right. ¿Quién es su hermana? Xiomara Alejandra. Xiomara Alejandra. Xiomara Alejandra. Ahorita, Alejandra ahorita, Marrón. ahorita le mando a alguien. Uh -huh. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Ya no te quieren dar clase. <risa> No hay papel sanitario aquí. No puedo mirarte, tienes demasiadas luces en el lugar. Estoy en nada de tanto chocolate. Gracias. De nada. Nos vamos a la cama. Hasta luego. Nos quedaremos a divertirnos. Sí, vamos. Bueno, lo quiero. Estoy sudando. ¿Estás bien? Sí, estoy bien. Bien, me iré a dormir. Descanso. Hay un espejo en el pecho, Drew, para jugar. <risa> Adivina, son las 10, estarás en el desayuno, lista a las 6.30. Adiós. Cuando terminemos de cubrirlo, a dormir. 10, 15 pm. <risa> eh... Is your brother playing tennis? No, she's not. not What is he doing? Uh, my brother is sleeping. Yeah. Uh, Mariana. Is your sister uh, watching TV? No, she is not. What is uh -huh. you doing? What is you doing? What is she? What is, what is she, she doing? doing? What is exactly. she doing? Mm -hmm. She she is um, she is cooking. Oh, cooking, perfect. Thank you. Continue, people. Well done. Thank you so much. Ahora le Hello. Hello, hello, Miss Sandra. Hello, teacher. What happened? Se, uh, se me ha quedado uh, solita. Your uh, partner uh, is here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'm trying to get somebody to be here. Right? Estoy tratando de conseguirle a alguien para poder agregarlo acá. But let's practice. Practico okay. yo con usted at this moment. Miss Sandra. Is your best friend, uh, is your best friend cooking at this moment? <laughs> no, he, no, she is not. Okay, what is she doing? Uh, I am, como se dice, I am, yo estoy sola. <laughs> I, I, no, I, you say I am alone, right? I am, I am alone. alone. No, no problem, no problem. Alone. But for the practice, but for the practice, uh, tell me an action the person is doing. Solo por cuestión de práctica, inventémonos ah. una acción que ella está haciendo. Cualquiera. She is. Entonces, este, eh, she is. Ah, bueno, she is. Mm, she is. Para decir está durmiendo. She, she is, is sleeping. Ah, she is a sleeping. Sleeping, she right? Sleeping. Thank you. She's sleeping. All right. Perfect, perfect. I will move you to other room, Miss Sandra. La voy a movilizar a otra sala donde sí hay compañeros, porque por el momento creo que con quien la asigné está teniendo problemas con su conexión. Así para que no se me quede solita. All right. Bueno. Thank you so much. Gracias.
Is is your mother eating dinner? Mm, no, she isn't. Uh, what is she doing? Uh, my mother uh, is sleeping right now. <laughs> Sleep. Okay, and is um, what why mm -mm. wife your, like your wife. sister your sister no, is your wife ah <laughs> your wife um about your wife and um, is is she she wife no, your wife and um, watching TV. Uh, yes, she is. <laughs> mm -hmm. Isn't is a neg is a negative. Um, no, she isn't. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Más a little than that, but well. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> and what is uh -huh. what is she doing? Excellent. Uh, I am she. No. She is, uh -huh. uh, she is, she is uh, cooking now, right now. Ah, excellent, perfect, Two. perfect. Nice, you see? The doctor, the doctor what is he cooking? Ah, what is she cooking? Ah, what is she cooking? Um, ¿Cómo dice carne molida? She is, uh, she is uh, cooking she ground is cooking. meat. Ground meat. Ground meat. Ground meat. Ground meat. Ah, perfect. And, ¿cómo se dice? ¿Cómo? ¿Jamón? Uh, ham. Ham, uh, ham. And ham with tomatoes. <laughs> Excellent. Thank and you. onions. Right. Perfect. And onions in it. Onions. 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 At, at this moment, I am I am getting hungry. Ya me está dando hambre por eso, Mr. Rolando. Sí, Lo peor es que aquí ya, ya, ya a mí también me relaja. Me too. Me too. <laughs> But the reality, your wife is watching TV, not cooking. That's the problem. <laughs> Vamos a hablar de cocina mejor. All right. Thank yeah. you. Perfect, people. Continue working hard. Thank you so Gracias. much. Thank, thank you. Thank you. you. Okay. Um, is he playing basketball? Mm -hmm. uh, is he your boyfriend uh, romantic? <laughs> but in that case, Mr. Nito, sorry for the interruption. Madeline, rápido le echo de cabeza. No, bro. No, he All right. But in this case, Mr. Tito, just uh, to clarify on that one, in that question, you, we are not referring to an action in progress because if you mention, is he romantic? That is a characteristic, right? Yeah. Not is your uh -huh. is your son um, is your son reading a book? Ah, is your son reading a book, Tito? Negative answer. No, uh, he's not. He isn't. All right. Next mm -hmm. question, Madeline. What is he what doing? Is he doing? Uh -huh, thank you. My son is uh, a, a big uh, artist. He is? No, but what is he doing? Mm -hmm. What action? What Person. action is he doing? <laughs> thank you. Uh, mm -hmm. He is, I oh, know, he is sleeping. He's sleeping, all right. Perfect. Mm -hmm. perfect, perfect, perfect. <laughs> really? They are sleeping. Is is baby my son? Uh, six years old. Oh. Ah, that's oh, why. <laughs> And what about for, yeah, yeah, for yeah, your yeah. sister, <laughs> Madeline? <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you. 
Continue asking, please. Continue asking. Remember, yes, no question. Pressing continues. And then you go for the next one. What is he or what is she doing? Right? And continue working. Thank you. Thank you. Teacher, en el, yes. teacher, en el caso que, que fueran como plurales en las preguntas que están haciendo ellos, uh -huh. eh, eh, ¿cómo sería? Is they, is they, Ah, okay. Cosa. In this y, case, remember they, that is, we use it for he, she, and it. Oh, right? And they are. Are oh, they? Okay. Are they? Exactly. Are they? Mm -hmm. Imagine that I, that I ask you, imagine for something in plural. Are your friends, right? In plural, are your friends playing mm -hmm. soccer? Negative, mm -hmm. Tito. No, they aren't. No, they are. Uh -huh. What are they doing? They are. Uh, they are okay. Come, okay. Playing cards. All right, playing cards. All right, mm -hmm. thank you. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Ahí el modelo de los elementos se mantiene. Sin embargo, en este caso utilizamos el verbo to be acorde al sujeto. ¿verdad? El is lo utilizamos para he, she, and it. Is he, is she, is it. Hablando del it, ¿verdad? Pero si ya hablo de you, are you, are they, are we. Ahí vamos a utilizar el verbo to be de, de acuerdo al sujeto que hemos mencionado. Right? Perfect. Continue. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, it's my song. No, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to participate. Sí, él es el ejemplo. <laughs> Excellent. He's taking classes. Hello, Mister. Hi. Hi. Yo no escucho como tengo oh, los... For the headset. All right. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. All right, people. Yeah, 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 create some yeah, questions, yeah, please, yeah, and I want to listen yeah, to you. Thank you. Yo tenía una pregunta, Tika. Tell me, tell me, Rina. Este, cuando son verbos que terminan con, con la I, así, uh -huh. no se sé, puede decirle, no le puedo decir ninguno porque no es que, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Algún verbo se vuelve a repetir la, eh, la, ¿El la, la ajá, el ING. Sí, en este caso sí, por ejemplo, el, podría mencionar el verbo portar o cargar, que sería carry, C-A-R-R-Y. El verbo, ¿verdad? Como portar o transportar. I am carrying. Yes, right? Se mantiene el verbo y agregamos el ing. Carrying. Ahí sí, pero sí se mantiene. No se omite ninguna parte del verbo base. Carrying. Ah, ok. Y cuando damos respuestas, este, para ser más concretos, si ¿sí uh -huh. podemos utilizar dos verbos, dos, sí, dos acciones a la vez. Por ejemplo, el, 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 la imagen que sacó de la niña con Ajá. el carrito, Ajá. o sea, podemos decir que ella va manejando y a la vez escuchando música. Ajá, yes. A los dos verbos se les agrega el ING, ¿verdad? A los dos, exacto. A los dos le agregamos ING, exacto. Porque alguien puede estar haciendo dos acciones simultáneamente, como usted lo menciona. She ah. is driving the car and listening to music. Pero los dos llevarían ING tal cual, para expresar ah, que las dos acciones están ocurriendo cuando usted las menciona. Uh -huh. Ok. All right, perfect. Let's do a practice. Okay. Please, please. Uh, sí. Is okay. Carlos sleeping now? No, he's not. He's What is he doing? He is, he is watching TV. He is watching TV. Watching TV. Sorry, Excellent. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Rina, let's change the roles. Now, Rina, you ask the question to Ruth Stephanie. Uh, Stephanie is, is Carlos. Alex. 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 This is Alex. <laughs> is 
18? No, he isn't. No, he isn't. No, he isn't. What is he doing? What is he doing? Uh, he is watching TV right now. TV. <laughs> All right. Hey, that is the, the, the reality. He is watching TV. <laughs> All right, perfect. Thank you, ladies. At this moment, we'll return to the main room. Thank you so much. Perfect. Gracias, Thank teacher. you. Gracias, teacher. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so much for the time in the practice. I was checking on some groups and I was happy to help you with some information. So thank you, thank you so much, all right? Thank you, thank you for working in this exercise. At this moment, and because of time, I am going to check on the attendance. So when you listen to your name, please make a verbal confirmation that you are still in this practice. Let me, let me get started, uh, Alejandra Gabriela. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Guadalupe Fuentes. Present teacher. Thank you. Azucena Enriquez de López. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Brian Joan Morroda. All right. Thank you so much, Brian. I know you have some, some possible connection problems, but thank you so much. Carolina Abigail Vasquez. Present. Thank you. Cindy Tatiana Vasquez. Present. Thank you. Sira Berfali Aguilar. Present. Thank you. Claudia Elizabeth Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Erika Vanessa Marroquín. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Esmeralda Janet Méndez. Present teacher. Thank you. Evelyn Abigail Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you. Fátima del Carmen Amaya. Present. Thank you so much. Giselle Maria Hernandez. Present. Thank you. Indira Nirvana Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Ana Ivania Guevara. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Jose Hernan. I guess he's not available at this moment. Josue Abraham Lopez. I guess not at this time. Carla Guadalupe Pacheco. Present. Thank you. Eh, Carla Lizette Méndez. Present. Thank you so much. Luis Daniel Rosa. Hello. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Madeline Beatriz Morán. Present. Thank you. Maria Jose Sandoval, I guess not available. Mariana Dolores Moreno. Present. Thank you so much. Marlon Napoleon Fuentes. Present. Thank you so much. Arina Estela Garcia. Present. Thank you. Rolando Guzman. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Ruth Stephanie Melendez. Present. Thank you. Sandra Marisol Campos. Present. Thank you so much. Tito Alberto Hernández. Present teacher. And Xiomara Alejandra Martin. Present teacher. Thank you so much for your confirmation, people. I appreciate your collaboration in the practice and also your punctuality to be here. And remember to continue working in the platform, right? Recordarles, eh, agradecerles por su puntualidad y por el compromiso que muestran día a día al estar acá en la sesión. Igualmente, invitarles a completar la plataforma si es posible este fin de semana. Perfecto. Como les recordaba, sí, ya tenemos la información y ya eh, igual tenemos contenido para trabajar en las sesiones e igualmente usted ya ha cumplido con uno de los compromisos adquiridos al estar en el curso. Así que, le animo, por favor, a que realice la plataforma. Si tiene dudas, pregúntenos y vemos cómo nos ayudamos entre todos 
y así pues logramos ya obtener una buena calificación y completamos en este caso todos los contenidos. It was a pleasure for me and have a good weekend, a really nice weekend and we see each other on Monday. Ok, pasen una feliz noche, un fin de semana bonito, descansen, cuídense y nos vemos el lunes. Thanks, teacher. Good night. Have a good night. See you. Thanks, teacher. See you. Take care. Bye. Bye bye. Bye. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.